Hello, hello. Hello. Good evening. Very good afternoon, Blahin. Oh, How are you? Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. My gosh, it's such a pleasure to meet you, Frank. Such an Likewise. honor to have you here. Well, oh my have... goodness, the honor is my, mine actually. So, oh. <laughs> just happy to go live with you and uh, see how. Because, uh, you know, like, I want to see how this goes because I've never actually been to, you know, like, other type of live that's not, you know, just talking about the, the language itself. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I, I just, I'm just happy that I can talk about one of my passions, you know, Great. one being English teaching, the other one being, you know, the television show Friends. <laughs> exactly, exactly, Frank. I'm actually a little bit intimidated. I have a feeling that you might be a bigger fan than I am. But I'm we'll ready see. for the challenge. I mean, we'll see. All righty, all righty. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> let's see how this goes. But uh, I mean, it's just, it's just fantastic. It is indeed. So let's say hello to a few people that we have here. I see lots sure. of people joining. Um, mm, I had a great idea of using two phones, but let's see if it really is a good idea. Hmm. You're using two phones? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's see if it works okay. so I don't have to come too close to the, to the screen all the time. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh my that. gosh. So many people. Thank you, Frank. I, I assume all these amazing followers are followers of your, your page. Welcome. There's several. There's several that that are mine. Uh, there are others who I have not seen. But uh, like to tell you the truth, I they might be mine. They might be yours. <laughs> I, I have no idea because I'm just. There's just so many. Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. Thank you so much, everybody. We have been. I'll do. Good evening, Emily, Alda, Schwan, Edgar, Doctor M A ninety nine sounds very official. Kathy, all good. Eunice, hi Eunice. Hello, Gilberto. Ah, uh, hello, Wendy. Oh, we have people from all over the world. This is really exciting. Exactly. It oh, is. Great. It is. It certainly is. Okay. Okay. So um, if you don't mind, Frank, I just want to say something very small in Portuguese to my followers, just to Go explain ahead. that this is all going to be in English. Olá, galera. Tudo bem? Muito, muito obrigado para vir hoje para ver nosso live. Uh, com, com Teacher Frank. Teacher Frank é incrível. Se você quer falar em inglês lindo, lindo, tem que seguir o Frank. Frank é incrível. Eu estava seguindo Frank para três, quatro semanas antes que vi que ele não está dos Estados Unidos. Eu nem sabia. Então, vai lá seguir ele. Ele é incrível. Vamos fazer tudo essa live em inglês, gente. Pode mandar, se você tem pergunta, você tem dúvida, pode mandar em português, se precisa. Mas seria legal falar tudo em inglês. Vamos lá, gente. Ok, thank you very much. My goodness, Blahin, your Portuguese is fantastic. Oh. I mean, if you, if, you, if you hadn't told me, I mean, I don't know, I don't know much about Portuguese, but it, many, many words sound very similar to Spanish, which uh -huh. uh, Spanish is my, my native language, right? So I kind of I can't make out what, what you're saying uh, out of, you know, uh, the specific words that I can understand. But like, hadn't you told me you were from Ireland? Like, if I hadn't seen the, 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 the flag on the, on the, awesome graphic that you actually made for both of us uh mm -hmm. like i wouldn't i wouldn't have known you were so i mean oh, thank you very so congrats much. congrats your portuguese you is great you too thank thank you frank i i was following your page i i i followed your page for about three or four weeks before i realized that you weren't from america i actually mm -hmm. saw that you weren't from america in the comment section on your page not even from anything that you said or did so I was like, <laughs> I mind that. blown, absolutely. And a lot of my, my followers have big problems with pronunciation. So I think that you can help them a lot, a lot, especially with your new course. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, hopefully uh, some, some of them feel interested. They, they feel compelled to go over to my page, have a look at it. And yeah, I mean, just uh, I excited so. about this new project. Yeah, absolutely. Would you like to talk a little bit about the pronunciation course? It sounds really interesting. Oh sure, I mean ever since since I decided I wanted to become an English teacher, I I vowed to look for something that would make me stand out. Right? Some uh -huh. oh my goodness, that's a lovely uh, that's a lovely window. Sorry, uh, <laughs> that's all right. Um, so I very early on in, in in my teaching career found out that yeah, while there are many difficult things about learning a language, um, one of the you know most talked about ones more popular ones are actually the fact that people want to sound like natives but how how difficult it actually is yeah. so i decided to you know just just focus on that i mean of course becoming a you know like well-rounded teacher but 
making an emphasis on helping people um, acquire not a native uh, not a native pronunciation because I am one of those people who think it's not necessary to actually sound like a native uh -huh. unless you're a teacher right because then you get <laughs> you get a lot of a lot of bad rap if you have an accent right but uh, As a student, you should be aiming for clarity, for intelligibility, for, you know, like reducing distracting factors uh, of your accent. And, uh, and that's what I wanted to help people with, you know, like just, just, just help them achieve uh, the, the, the language they would feel comfortable speaking. Absolutely. And, 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 that's and, what and a, great, a great communication as well. So people are understanding what's being said. I had my sisters and I had lots of visitors here in Brazil this year. And I noticed that what they noticed, what they considered good English was English well pronounced rather than good grammar. So some people maybe had a nice pronunciation. Their grammar was kind of all over the place. They would say like, oh, that guy spoke really great English, you know, because it was yeah, clear exactly. for them. They knew what you can was get going away on. with many things. With, I mean, if you're, if you're able to speak clearly, you can get away with uh, several, you know, yes. like several things that you might be lacking. Totally, of course, like native speakers speak incorrect grammar, speak incorrectly all the time. Um, yeah. even, even myself, I'm sure a lot of people on this live would say that you, Frank, have a better English than I do because oh, my I goodness. have an Irish no, I mean, accent. I wouldn't dare. <laughs> I, wouldn't dare. <laughs> I wouldn't dare say that. No, but, but, but oh, it really does depend on the accent, depending on where you're going. Once your communication is really, really great, it makes a big difference. Okay, Dougie. So, All right. Frank, are you ready? Let's do this. Let's so do this. Of course, I am. I have 20 something questions. We'll get as many done as we can. Do you have questions for me, Frank? Uh, I do not necessarily have one, uh, like, like specific questions. I, I might, uh, you know, get some as, uh, as we speak and talk about this, but uh, I did not prepare any, any questions. So I'm completely Perfect. relying on yours. Okay, great. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Let's do wow. this. Uh -huh. right. Sorry. Before, right. <laughs> before we even start, this was actually supposed to how, be how you entered the, the quiz. I see, exactly. <laughs> okay. The Rembrandt, of course. Right. Exactly. <laughs> this song is so, 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 such an important part of my, my life in general. Okie dokie. Hmm? So, question Let's number one. Who did Phoebe... Name one of her brother's triplets after. All righty. Mm. Now, we could, give a, we could give a chance for the followers and the, and the viewers to answer, uh, yes. but, I mean, it's going gonna, it's gonna to seem as if I didn't know the answer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, right, it's, go ahead. It, it's Chandler. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Chandler, Chandler, the one I would say. That's right. Absolutely, absolutely. Well done. Let's That's see if right. anybody else and by the, the way, <laughs> And by the way, Chandler was... A girl, you know, so, so that, that Chandler makes it extra girl. funny, actually. Yeah, yes, she was a female triplet and her name was Chandler. Absolutely. Do you recall the scene when, when she was born, right? And then Frank, uh, Phoebe's brother, was actually there. And he, every time a baby came out, one of the triplets, he used to come out and, and yell that he was a father, right? And when Chandler was born, he came out, you know, screaming, Chandler's a girl, Chandler's a girl. Chandler's and then he goes girl! like, Yeah, this is this is this is a flashback to my to my gym class, something like that. I mean, it's just it, yeah. it brings so so many memories. So there we go. Yeah, absolutely. And the great <laughs> thing about Friends, I always recommend it to my my students is is that you can oh, yeah. really watch Friends with no sound at all, and you'll still know what's going on. It's so expressive. Yeah, it There's is. so much so much um, visuals that will help you while you're while you're watching Friends. So anybody that hasn't watched Friends in English. Please go ahead. Question oh, yeah. number two. First of all, let's see if we got any answers here. Chandler, nice song. Hey, Wendy. Hello, Carol. Who's Queen? Fernanda. Well, wow, lots of people here. Great. It's fantastic. Hello. Welcome, Barbara. So, question number two. Dun, dun, dun. All righty. What was Ross's recurring dream as a child? Oh, my goodness. All right. <laughs> Okay, you're, you're going to think I'm, I'm like, like some sort of nerd <laughs> towards this uh, show. I mean, his recurring dream was that Monica would, if I, re if I recall correctly, that Monica would sit on him or eat him. Like, ah! I, 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 I haven't actually made my mind which one of those uh, is, but uh, I'm thinking is if Monica would eat him. Uh -huh, I believe uh -huh. that's the one. Absolutely. That's the one I'm going for. Uh, Okie dokie. Let's see. Have we got any answers here? Uh, Carol knows the answers. Hello, Laura. 
Power of positive thinking. I'm a big fan. Great. Okie dokie. Super. 2-1 for Mexico versus Ireland. Eat him. Absolutely. <laughs> Carol, you're right. All right. Hmm. Next question. Tick tock, tick tock. You have got the option to ask the audience. Oh, okay. Of okay. Of course. Okay. Of course. Of course. I think you know this one. I think you All know All right. One. What's the name of Ross's second wife? Okay. So I'm thinking of the first one. And then the second one had to be. Okay. This is a thinker because I believe he got married three times. And then the last one. Like, you know, like the one, with, the one that should last forever. We didn't see that one. So, yeah, <laughs> okay, the second one, the second one, I'm thinking it's, uh, it was in London, uh, Emily. Emily, super excellent. <laughs> fantastic. Great, great. Really nice. Right. Wonderful, right. wonderful. Fantastic. Okay, let's put up our scores here. So we're on. Oh, we do have a score. Fantastic. Three three. <laughs> so far, so good. Let's go. Right. Let me see if I can pin this. I hope to become an expert at these lives so I don't have to keep coming very close. Okay, great. <laughs> three for three. All righty. All righty. Very good. Let's go. Let's go. Next one. Okay. So this one maybe is a little more difficult. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But all okay. right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. What kind of car does Joey find the keys for in Central Perk? Oh, my. Okay. Hold on. It was, oh, I remember the bit, actually, because <laughs> people used to call it Porsche, but he was adamant in, in having people call it Porsche, right? uh -huh. <laughs> so it would be a Porsche. That would be my answer. It would. Excellent. Some of these <laughs> trivia questions I know the answer of, but I wouldn't have remembered in the moment, you know? I was going through my friend's trivia yesterday. <laughs> I'm just laughing my ass off saying I love of it. Of course. <laughs> great, great. Four out of four. All right. Super. Fantastic. We have a question, an answer here from Alawiel Musafer. Actually, the second wife was Emily. Emily in London. Do you remember? They, I think they had to get married really quickly, right? There was something happening and they had to... Uh, they had to, um, uh, you know what the thing? Maybe, maybe she got, uh, or he, like, I, I didn't see uh, what gender it was, <laughs> the person that said that, but... Uh, he said Rachel in the mm -hmm. altar. So maybe that's why they got confused. Right? But it was, yes. actually, it was actually Emily. It was, it was, it was. Exactly. It was Emily. Can you remember? Trick question on the side. Bonus question. Why right. did they have to get married so quickly? Just one month after. You got it, Wendy? Okay. One month after. Okay, like the reason why? Uh-huh. Could you remember? Oh, my God. Hold on. Like, I remember Roz, Ross proposed. Um, but like the specific reason, I mean, other than them wanting to get married, I can't, I can't come up with any, you know, you yes. got me there. Well, them wanting to get married is a good reason as well. Actually, <laughs> the reason they, they wanted to get married so quickly is I think it, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think the, I'm going to say the church was being destroyed, knocked down or yeah. something like this. Of course, of course. And they had to yeah. do it very quickly. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Actually, actually they got married in the ruins of, of yes. the church. Yeah. Yes, they yeah, did, right. did. Absolutely. That's one of my favorite shows. Um, mm -hmm. um, the, the wedding. <laughs> so much drama. <laughs> Emily had to go back to London. Hello, and I remember, And I remember Emily actually wanting to call off the wedding, you, you know, postpone it on Monica's advice, actually. <laughs> and the story, I saw it, like the bit where she tells Ross, about it like like that he kept on putting his uh his pants on backwards like he did oh, yeah. it like three times my goodness how funny was that sorry yeah, no, <laughs> just I, keep reminding these things i, I mean, love ross i love yeah, ross i, just I keep always say i have a favorite but i don't because you can say, sometimes i'm saying phoebe's my favorite or ross is my favorite but then one of the others bring out something hilarious just <laughs> to bring the same to the joy table, exactly okie dokie okay fantastic right. are you ready for the next one four four here we Let's go. Let's do this. Who was Chandler Bing's TV magazine addressed to? All right. It was <laughs> Ms. Chandler Bong. Yes! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Excellent. Ms. Chandler Bong. Fantastic. That's right. Great. And this is actually yeah, in a quiz, right? Yeah. 
it was actually one one uh, sort of game they were playing when they actually i mean rather similar to this one must i say right <laughs> in which it was kind of a trivia game about their lives so yeah and and uh, somebody said mr chandler bong and then he corrected saying it was actually chandler <laughs> bong yeah. <laughs> that's right <laughs> super super five out of five okie dokie i'm gonna pin this five out of five here I think that no. we're not going to have any wrong answers, but let's see, let's see. I don't know, I don't know, like, I got wrong, I couldn't remember that one, uh, the, the side answer you had for me, so, <laughs> I don't know, I, I'm not sure, I'm not well, sure I'm going to go, you know, it was, perfect. It was a bonus question, so you're, 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 you got that one for free. Oh, we have some right. Team Monica, Team Chandler going on here. Do you have Oh, there we go. Are you on a team? What, which uh, character are you behind the most? All right, the most, I mean, I... Ever since I saw the first episode, uh, I, I had a crush on, you know, Jennifer Aniston, <laughs> which was Rachel. So, like, if we follow that, if, if I follow my heart, it would be, you know, uh, Rachel, right? However, I don't know, Joey is, and Chandler, like, I mean, I, I of course, can't pick one out of the others, but uh, my heart says Rachel, so I'm going to go, if I had to. If I had to, I, I'd pick Rachel. <laughs> yeah, your first love, I guess. I guess that's... I it is. It I is. even had a crush on Rachel when the show first came out. <laughs> really? Seriously? You know, that, that very, that very uh, I don't know, like, special. And I, I'd never seen, like, the, the, the hairstyle that she wore yeah. uh, back then in the first episodes. Um, my goodness. I mean... Yeah, I was just stunning. like, wow, yeah, it was, um, she was stunning. <laughs> yeah, and the style, everything. What about Phoebe, guys? Carol, I think I'm team Phoebe, to be honest. And it's between Phoebe and Ross, because Ross really gets me. My gosh, she's so funny. You know, so is my wife. My wife would be, like, so behind Phoebe. She, that's her favorite character. I and she's just so as, as big on, on friends as I am, so yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky. Actually, the reason that my friends' skills aren't as up-to-date as I'd like them to be is that oh, my partner, my. Rodrigo, doesn't like friends. Oh my! Oh he my goodness! Like that's 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 grounds for. Ah, oh, no, of course not. <laughs> all right. I'm not. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> oh great! Okay, so Ala, Wheel, Musafer. Yes, Rachel is very good looking. Absolutely. Windy. Oh, no, Rachel is the worst person ever. <laughs> I mean, if if you actually ask me who I consider the you know, the, the least or my least favorite, that would be Ross, you know, and specifically because of his, I don't know, like his jealousy, you know, like his toxic yeah. personality uh -huh. up, at, up to some point. So like, like that would be my least favorite. I mean, that's not, to, um, that's, that doesn't mean that I don't love him. Of course I love him yeah, all, yeah, but, but that would be my least favorite one. Yeah, I think there's an episode with Ross where he um, he's trying to, oh, what's he trying to convince Phoebe? He's trying to convince Phoebe that the Big Bang happened. And oh, he's, just, he's okay. just following her around. He's just at her. <laughs> he's just really all in her face trying to get her to, to, to agree with him. And then finally, she, oh, you know, uh -huh. she, she uh -huh. keeps his ass. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Uh, what well, that reminded me, I guess it, it was a little bit backwards because Ross wanted to to have Phoebe admit that her her mother wasn't actually the pencil or the cat. I, I think it was the cat, not the pencil. Uh -huh. It was a cat. And then Phoebe managed to convince Ross to admit that the Big Bang didn't exist. And oh, then and then the one, once episode. he said and then once he said like, well I guess so and then she goes like, How will you be able to look at yourself in the mirror? Your whole belief system just collapsed. Exactly. And he's like, What the hell? Like what's happening right now? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> That's an oldie. That's an oldie. Well, actually, I saw that the last episode of Friends was 16 years ago. My gosh, like, where does the time go? Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you know what? Then I see, then I take a look at my, my gray hair over here, and then I find, I find those years those that years. I haven't accounted for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's where they went. Super. Okay. <laughs> to my so, beard. <laughs> to my beard. It's all in the beard. All the wisdom is right it there. Is. So, hello, Pachi, welcome. I have even people that don't like friends here. Maybe we can convert oh, them. Oh, wow. Hey, Juan. Sure. <laughs> hello, Felipe, Team Joey. Um, right. It's 2412 right. wants to know if we're kidding. I'm not sure what we're kidding about, but maybe. Maybe we're kidding. Depends on what you're asking. Ross is kind of sexist. He is. Absolutely. Uh, Felipe Super. Rodrigo, I'm good. How are you? How are you? He's asking us, uh, Frank. How are you doing? 
I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Having, having a blast over here. Good, good, good. good. Terrible if you see that. And I totally agree, Wendy. Okay, let's continue. Super. Next uh -huh. question. What does Phoebe want written on her tombstone? I knew it. I knew I would, I, I would meet my match. Okay, hold on. This is a thinker. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you can ask I, I remember. I remember her, you know, like uh, speaking about it, but the actual words. No, like no. I, I, I'm at a blank here. I, I'm gonna need some some help from the audience. Okay, actually. guys. Okay, guys. Does anybody know what Phoebe wants written on her tombstone? Hmm. Okay, her tombstone. She wants. Oh my goodness! No, like I, I'm completely lost here. Oh, Grace, I'm so <laughs> glad I got you. Okay, and it's my yeah, competitive no. streak coming out. So I, I'll, <laughs> there I'll we give go. You the answer. I'll give you, you got the me. Answer. Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I guess our our uh, our viewership doesn't doesn't know it no, either. No, you don't know. It's a hard one. I wanted to get some really tough ones. I was scared that uh, someone's okay. gonna kick my uh, ass. <laughs> I'm gonna need <laughs> I'm gonna need a, uh, a a light clue. If you just give me a certain clue, I might I might be able oh, to no, remember. Oh no, I've already written the answer. Don't read. Oh, okay. buried alive. There we go. No, no, no. That's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. That's buried it. alive. Of course. <laughs> I mean, of course. Buried alive. Once I, exactly. Once I saw it, I was like, yeah, of course. But I mean, <laughs> that, that's the loser's excuse, right? Of course. Yes. No, but I do remember it. I do remember it. So, yeah. I'm, I'm just glad that, that <laughs> oh, you got me. A you got me with the that questions one. aren't too easy. Great. <laughs> exactly. Super. Exactly. Uh, good alive, evening, Marwin. Uh, and you'll never forget this one. You know, the next time not. you do a, do, do a quiz, <laughs> she wants to be buried right. alive. Okay. <laughs> so I think All this right, is going to be a nice challenge for you. Uh, let's see. All right. Joey kissed Phoebe five times in all the series of Friends. Describe the scene leading up to any of the kisses. All right. One. Okay. I remember it was... I don't remember them all, okay? So if you had asked me about the, the, the five times that that happened, like, I, I would have I lost. Sorry, lost. But I remember one when she was crossing off stuff off her uh, bucket list and... Uh, I remember she, I don't know, for some reason, leaving or, or you know, exiting the, the coffee shop, Central Perk, by the way. <laughs> and, uh, uh, oh, hold on, but was that Chandler or was it Joey? I can't remember, but I, I, I think she wanted a certain nationality type of guy to kiss her before she died. And, uh, and then either Chandler or Joey kissed her. But <laughs> now, now I, can't, I can't remember. Was that it? That, 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 that's the right answer, but it's not the answers that I have. So okay. Let's, so let's then it, 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 might, can... it might have been Chandler, though, then. It might have been Chandler, exactly. So yeah. I'll give you some mm -hmm. hints, and I'll try and okay. ease okay. you in to some of the answers. Okay, so <laughs> Ursula is in one of the situations. Okay. Well, Joey... Oh, Yeah. Ursula broke up with Joey, and then he got so, you know, heartbroken and sad about the situation that uh, Phoebe um, actually, you know, pretended to be Ursula, and then she came over, kissed him, and then said, it's not you, it's not me, some sort of, uh, something like that, just, just to, uh -huh. you know, give him hope, uh, or, you know, just, just to, uh, I don't know, to, to not leave him feeling bad, and, uh, and that's when she kissed him. I mean, exactly. I believe that that's the thing. Okay. Beautiful. Right. But five times. My five goodness. Times. Okay, when... let me give you the five, okay? <laughs> so right. um, when she breaks up with him as Ursula, that's what the one that you just gave is great. Um, mm -hmm. She wants to give him feedback on kissing when he's doing, uh, this, this is a really old one, when he's doing uh -huh. an audition. So she wants to give him some feedback. It's oh, dangerous yeah. for a single pregnant woman. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a strange thing to say. <laughs> No, 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 hold on. No, that, I, I remember that's, that's one of the phrases he actually, because he proposed to her. Uh, he said this line, that it's a dangerous <laughs> world for a single pregnant woman. Uh, he proposed to her and then she said, yeah, and then she kissed him. So that's, that's another one of them. That's of course. another that... one, great. It's two, four, one, two. I thought you were being weird. Great, super. <laughs> that's yes, right. I have this written as the next one. 
when he, he proposes to her thinking that she is pregnant. Exactly. That's the clue, idiots. Thanks. It, it, it's 2412. I think what? we have another, another Hey, uh, but let's, let's, be, let, let's be civil over here. What the hell? Oh. All right. All right. Okie dokie. Right. So let's go okay. to our next one. Mm -hmm. um, okay. This one's really easy. So I don't want you to answer right away. Let's see if, if we can get some answers from our... From our students here. Yeah, I know. That, 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 that one's easy. That one's this a given. This is easy. So, <laughs> who knows, guys? What's Joey's favorite food? Well, give them a second. In the meantime, Frank, what's your favorite yeah. food? My favorite food... Um, Coincidentally, is Joey's favorite food. Oh, so, okay, that's it. Yes, it is. I cannot say it, but yeah, that that would be it. Yeah, that would probably one of one of my favorite foods. I would be a master at making these. I actually worked as a maker of this food for many years when I was studying. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh there we go. Peanut butter has it. Pizza. Mm -mm. That's right. Is that Wendy? Peanut uh -huh. butter. Oh, okay. Yeah, Peter, <laughs> Wendy, okay. Wendy's from Colombia. I, I was really, oh, um, I was really interested in her coming to the class today, so she could hear your amazing English. Um, she has oh, lots of friends that. from Mexico as well, so I was afraid she was going to be on Team Mexico, but I think she's on oh, Team so then, Ireland. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be too weird if I, you know, said hello to them in Spanish and like. In this no, 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 no. Okay, no. okay. Hola, ¿qué tal, chicos? Muy buenas tardes. Muchas gracias por conectarse y observarnos. Muchísimas gracias por estar aquí. Hola. All right. So there we great. go. <laughs> Excellent. Super. So we have a great answer here. We have Ala Wial Lucifer sandwiches. Gino nine nine three sandwiches. John Pizza the Joey special. Excellent, <laughs> the Joey special. So the Joey special two pizzas. <laughs> there uh -huh. we go. So okay, so we have we have a bit of a, a a break in the what's the answer, right? So I would have said that the answer was sandwiches. What was oh, your you would have, I, I would have said pizza. Oh, huh. what? all right, because that's the Joey special. Like he's always eating pizza. <laughs> I don't know, but has it has it ever been you know established? in the show like so joey what's your favorite pizza <laughs> sorry what's your favorite food and then he would say pizza i don't know yeah, yeah. I, I thought it would so yeah, yeah. i mean somebody somebody yeah. over here said sandwiches and pizza so maybe that's the real think, correct yeah answer. i think maybe over <laughs> over all the series maybe he had two, oh but two you know what favorite food. do you remember the episode when when uh i mean they heard a, a car backfire and and then joey thought that uh, somebody was uh, shooting at his sandwich, <laughs> his meatball sandwich, actually. So he uh -huh. was actually saving uh, the, the meatball sandwich. Um, I, guess, I guess that's it, right? So it's got to be a sandwich just because he was willing to put his life on He's the line put his life on to line protect the sandwich. sandwich. Like, I don't know if he would have done that for a pizza. So. <laughs> okay, so I think this needs further study. So I'm going to cancel the question. And right. we're gonna we're gonna come back to it next time with the right answer. Okay. But however, I mean, uh, nonetheless, maybe the the answer that you have is, is sandwiches. So perhaps it might yeah. it might be that one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if it's sandwiches, mm -hmm. it's... it could be sandwiches. Could be pizza. I think it, right. a, a pizza is um, also a very strong candidate. Okay. Okay. Next okay. one. Next one's a exactly. I think it's a sandwich. Thank you, Carol. Uh, Wendy's right. saying it's pizza with salami. Hmm, yeah, salami who pizza. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm gonna have to rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, anyway, so. that's just an excuse. <laughs> gonna have to, to do it again. again so. Exactly. Uh -huh. So it's a positive. Okie dokie. All so, right. what's Chandler's middle name? Hmm, give the guys okay. a second. It starts with M. <laughs> Actually, exactly. Chandler M. Bing. <laughs> uh huh. All right. I'll All give right. you a hint. It's not Mike. Exactly. No, I'm like, because cause I want to involve the audience. I mean, I, of course, remember that episode, <laughs> like, vividly. Because, uh -huh. I mean, I, I found it funny, <laughs> the fact that, that his name was that. In, in Ireland, it's very common for men to have names like this in the middle name. Oh, really? Uh -huh. But, like, hold on. I've always wanted to ask somebody uh, this question, like, somebody, somebody who wasn't from the States. Like, they, they treat the name as, as if it was, you know, like, a, like an ugly name. You know, like, but is it, is, is it considered an ugly name anywhere else outside? I mean, like, for example, in Ireland. No. Like, it's a it, common name, isn't it? It's a, it? It would be a common name, maybe an L, a, a more older name, maybe 
wouldn't be many young people with this name, but I okay. I know many people with this name, and um, right. it's very common. So uh, yeah, they did. They actually put quite a, a, a negative connotation on the name. Right? Yeah, yeah. I in, was like, because yeah. In Ireland, it's very common for men to have names like Mary in their in their in their middle name. It's very common. Oh, this name, okay. though, not not as common for the men. Okay. By the way, I don't think anybody's gotten it correct. It's. I see it. I see okay, it. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. Tell it's Muriel. It oh, there we go. Exactly. There we go. Actually, oh, Anwar. Hello, Anwar. Anwar is one of my students, my current students right now. Oh, uh, she's from Saudi Arabia. Uh, sorry, no, she's yeah, Saudi Arabia, and um, she just said the the answer. It was so Muriel. She's doing there well, we go. Great. She's doing you proud. All right. We have Abby. all right. Yeah. Abby, be well done. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know she liked friends. Actually, like uh, th that's not a question I normally ask my students. Like. <laughs> I should actually ask that on the first uh, on the first lesson, right? <laughs> yeah, it's a great um, it's a great way to uh, know you have something really interesting in common. That's right. That's right. Excellent, Muriel. Muriel, guys, well done. Super, Muriel. fantastic. There we go. All right. Okay. I'm going. I'm I'm pressing buttons here that maybe aren't the right buttons. So let's see. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. So. Okay. I, I would love if you could give me the name, but it's not necessary. Okay. Whose cheesecake did Chandler and Rachel devour? Okay. Okay, so the cheesecake came from Mama's Little Bakery, Chicago, oh Illinois. <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. But, but they took it from one of their neighbors. Whose name I can't freaking recall <laughs> in this moment. That's okay. So, okay, like I, I remember where I mean the, the bakery, uh, the name of the bakery, but Mrs. Mrs. Idleman was it? You're close. <laughs> You're really close. Oh my like, goodness! No, you know, know what? I'm I'm just not I'm just not gonna get it. I I was going to say uh, you just needed to say the neighbor because. That's that's too hard already. But Mrs. Braverman, Mrs. Hey, Braverman, Braverman of, course, of course, I said Edelman. So so oh, close. <laughs> Ivy, you got it. Well done, Mrs. Braverman. Excellent. Yeah. That was when I didn't know myself, and I was like, I'm gonna give this one to Frank. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is very hard. <laughs> you okay. know, like specificity like that. Like that. That's that's tough. That's tough. It is, it is, it is. I, I thought you should be tortured just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, this exactly. Is torture, torture, right? <laughs> it is, it is. It makes us grow. <laughs> it does, it does. Right. Okay, so where is Phoebe when she finds out about Chandler and Monica? When I say about them, their relationship, that they're hooking up. Okay, when she finds out about Chandler and Monica... Uh, she started screaming, my eyes, my eyes, all right, <laughs> when she saw that. So, I mean, it's obvious that I know where, <laughs> where she was. So, perhaps our friends yeah. over here could, you know, out of that whole scene, it was actually Russ's, uh, not, not his reaction uh, towards finding out about Mon Chandler and Monica, but, you know, like, when, when Rachel and Phoebe didn't want him, to find out about them, they started, you know, like uh, pretending to be so so happy about it, and then Ross couldn't hide his excitement either. So he started jumping and screaming. That was, that was that was very funny. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was. And in it the was ugly naked that guy. Totally play. happened to me. I can imagine me going into a room and people like, "Woo!" Me just like, "Yes, this is exciting. What's happening?" Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But he got the apartment, the ugly naked guy's apartment. That's exactly. Right. I love the ugly naked guy story, I, but I. I I also loved that Ross got his apartment. Yes, Wendy, exactly. you, you're right. Ali, they are doing, they are doing. They're it doing is, it. They're, they're doing it. They're doing it. Yes, true, true. <laughs> That's, that, that was the exact phrase. <laughs> My <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Zhuang, you got it. That's Ross's right. apartment. It's an ugly That's naked right. guy's apartment. Ugly naked <laughs> guy's place. Really well mm -hmm. done, guys. Super. Fantastic. There you go. Wow. Perfect. All right. Okie dokie. So, can you remember, before we do the question, can you remind the guys mm -hmm. who is Elizabeth? Okay, Elizabeth is an ex, well, a former student of Roz that uh, also eventually became his girlfriend and then his ex-girlfriend. So yeah. 
very that, good. <laughs> that's that, that's uh, you know like <laughs> the summary of the story. Yes, yes, and very Ross, right? We started, we finished, we started. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, don't is, so let's see. Does uh -huh. anyone remember what nickname did Ross have for Elizabeth when he was her teacher? So he had nicknames for everybody. His classes were mm -hmm. really big. And okay, her name is really on. funny. Hold on, hold on. It was, oh, I guess Smokey Smokers and was one. Uh, <laughs> Smokey Smokers. Uh, I think, but not for her. Mm -mm. Hers was, oh my goodness, you got me again. Hold on, okay. It was something with Mac. Yes, it was something <laughs> with Mac. It was something with Mac, all right, but uh, Mac Pretty, actually. Yes! Mac Pretty, but the first part, it wasn't Pretty Mac Pretty, so, <laughs> like, what was it? Mac Pretty. So I, I, got, I, I just have half of it. Like, I, I don't Mac have the whole pretty, thing. guys. Can we finish this? Can anyone help Frank out? Mac pretty. So, Come on, so guys. I gave you half of it. really rocking this. So, <laughs> give me, so if anyone give me can a, remember the first name of Elizabeth Mac pretty. What the hard Lizzie? one? Though. Lizzie Mac pretty? Lizzie? No. I like it Lizzie. better than what he, he named her, actually. Her, her <laughs> name right. was, I'm going to tell you guys just because it's All a hard right. one. Oh, it. yes, Ali B. Habibi. Are you Googling the answers? Oh, my goodness. You know all the answers. <laughs> Cutie my pretty. Cutie my pretty, exactly. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a hard one. All right. That was a hard one. Great. Cutie my pretty, yes. And then Smokey, because she was sitting next to Smokey Smokers. And, and, uh -huh. and then I remember, I, like, I guess he mentioned uh, some other, you know, nicknames that he had for his students. Yeah, I feel like there might have been somebody that was smelly, but I'm not sure. Smelly yeah. colors, huh? <laughs> the cat probably. <laughs> right. Oh, cute, smelly cat. Yeah, of course. What are they man. fitting them? <laughs> okay, okay. So Joey right. has seven sisters. I'm not going to ask you to name them all. Thank Just you. The sister that slept with Chandler Bing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Just let, let me let me say the first letter. The first two letters, and then you tell me if I'm correct, all right? Mm -hmm. A N. A. Did you say A N? A N. For, mm, you, there okay, is an A N. Then in I there. might not have it. Uh, okay, but that, that's not like that's not the, the beginning of a name. A N. There's oh, two it's, names. Oh, is it is it M? The first name. Okay, mm -hmm. so. I guess I guess I have it. But you know okay. what? Then I'm, <laughs> okay, so. Give the guy it, a second. Ali B, I'm expecting uh -huh. some answers here from you. 10 years, no cheating. Oh, it's 24 12, got it. Mary, <laughs> well, you're amazing yeah, too. Exactly. Mary, I was just going to say. So close. <laughs> there we go, okay. Mary Angela, Mary Ann. Which one was it though? Mary Ann or Mary Angela? Mary Angela. Mary Angela, yeah, that, that's the one I, I thought, but I was just going to say Angela. I was, I, I was uh -huh. going to leave out the, the Mary part out. Mm, well, you would have got half points, but I'm going to give you all the points. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Ma Mary Angela, I've lost count of our questions, but I assume that we've done 13, and I think we have 12 out of 13. Probably. So. <laughs> questions Probably. are so hard. I'm sorry, Wendy. Mary Angela Anwar, you got that. We just need to brush up on our friend skills, and then my questions would be very easy, guys. <laughs> All right. So, what is Joey's character job, in Gina. Days of Our Lives? This All is right. easy. Wendy knows this one. Come on, Wendy. It is. It is rather easy. I know the name actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's actually the question, right? Like, it's it asking is? not. Yeah, because I don't think a doctor would suffice, would it? <laughs> no, absolutely no. not. Mm -mm. Okay, it's Dr. Ray, but what is the last name? What's the surname there, guys? Piece of cake. Oh, it let's is. see. All right. So it's a doctor. It's a doctor. Dr. Who DR. Just, <laughs> who actually happened to be the only person able to perform, perform surgery on himself after he fell off the uh, elevator shaft. <laughs> so, oh. Oh my gosh, yeah. I love the story of days of our <laughs> lives. Absolute madness. <laughs> this is easy. People are telling me it's easy, but they're not giving me the answer. So I think we're yeah, that's right. <laughs> Probably. Doctor, yeah, exactly. Doctor DR. 
Uh huh. Doctor, yes. did I say Doctor Jake? I didn't say Jake, did I? I might have. It was. Um, I'm not sure. Drake. Uh huh. Doctor Drake. Yes. Yeah. Somebody already wrote the answer over here. Was it Wendy. Drake from Moray? <laughs> but yes. it was it, 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 it wasn't spelled correctly actually I, I don't know like is it air sorry r a m o r e y i have it written as a y but like i spelled okay. it myself so i don't i don't trust my spelling on the remore okay so it could be i don't know like <laughs> probably cuz i don't know like I, I don't i don't remember i, I mean the, the person over here peanut butter which is wendy i believe spelled uh -huh. it uh R A M O R Y, which might ah, be, would be like Ramory, right? Exactly, exactly. Dr. Drake Ramory, very Remore. close. <laughs> very Dr. Close. Drake Ramore, let me write it here, but I, I, I'm I'm open to typos. Yeah, Gino got it. I'm gonna I'm gonna tag you here, Gino. You're you're on the ball. Ramore, there Ramore. we go. It makes sense. Gino's name actually is uh, Anwar. <laughs> Anwar, great. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to. Oh, this keeps happening. I'm trying to show you pictures of my kettlebells. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ramore, there we go. All right, Ramore. Uh huh. I'm trying and, to pin and the And what comment. about what about his evil twin? What was his first oh, name? Oh, I can't remember. Wait, let me think. His evil twin. Oh my they god! Actually, I should know this. this they is actually so just made it up. <laughs> I, I believe they just made it up uh, because of the crazy fan that was, you know, stalking Joey uh, at his apartment. Uh huh. I love Joey starts, when he was so famous. <laughs> it starts with an S. Starts an with an S. S. I, me neither. I don't remember his name. Even Ali B doesn't remember. Hmm. Do you know? Right. It's 2412. I feel like you, maybe you know. We've got Probably. Good Come on, Ali Anwar. Drummer. You got this, don't you? <laughs> okay. Is it Hans S P. Ramore? Okay, that was the real one, like like the twin that they used, I believe, in the in the show. But the one I was thinking of, and maybe I am completely off, but it's Striker, Striker Remore. Oh, I don't know. I remember <laughs> Striker Remore? I don't know. Then when they talked about Striker Remore, Hans <laughs> Remore <laughs> could have been. Yeah, Striker Amore was the twin brother of Dr. Drake. Joey was offered the part, but he would not have had to do it. Oh, to there we go. There the we part. go. Okay. So, he so then they it. used hands when they made up the story uh, with, uh, was it Brooke Shields? I think it was Brooke uh -huh. Shields. I, I just can't remember her, her name in, in the show. But uh, then they must have used hands with her and Striker for Joey not taking the part. Oh, yes. Yes. I think so. so I think twins. you're right. <laughs> Twins, Two twins, twins there. And, and I saw that um, uh, Wendy said that he performed sur surgery on himself after coming back out of a coma with a new brain. Is it true? I don't remember this There we part. go. <laughs> with a new brain. With a new brain. I could do it one of those, you know. Okie dokie. <laughs> Great. Oh hmm. Did I... I pause you? This, the, like, it, it seems like it should be a really simple situation, but I keep touching the wrong place. Mm, next question. Okay. Mm, oh, I know what, why, because I have some words here. Let's go. Mm, Brooke Shields. Never heard of Brooke Stryker. I, I've heard of him, but only after Stryker? you said it. I didn't remember in the moment. Okie dokie. Next one. Okay. Next, one, next one's pretty easy, I think. What bed was okay, accidentally take delivered to Monica? <laughs> it was red. Uh-huh. And you know what? It was accidentally delivered because Joey was punching Joey. <laughs> so it was was punching Joey on the nose. Uh so while while they were taking care of the runny nose, that's when they get it in. So it was a red one, I believe. And was this is this the episode with the shimmy? Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh my goodness! Oh, I pivot. can't remember. Pivot, pivot. No, no, no that, that's another one. That, that's that's when Roz got a, a new couch. Ah, that was a couch, right? <laughs> pivot. Okay, I see an some iconic, an iconic phrase. A car-shaped one. There we go. Exactly. I would love a car-shaped uh, bed. Wouldn't it be awesome? You know, uh -huh. like raising yourself to sleep every night. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. It would be great.
Okay, I'm going to pin this comment for anybody that's um, 2412 is asking for the name of Joey's twin, Striker or Moray. Striker. The, oh, yeah. the race car bed, the face yeah. meme channel I had a while. Yeah, 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 I've seen this meme. <laughs> what was the title of the episode? Mm, oh, the title okay. The, the one with that, Striker. That's, that's going <laughs> to... <laughs> I don't I don't know like the, I, I don't know the episodes I mean I'm sure there are huge fanatics uh, of a show who actually can tell you the the episode I'm I'm not there yet <laughs> I'm not there yet either me neither I've been 20 years I might <laughs> I, I, I might I'll be there Google it I, I'm going to take a note I'll Google it and I'll put it in my stories after what oh, episode so was nice. Striker Remore Okie dokie here we go um, hmm I think it's easy Okay. You got this. What business did Phoebe and Monica briefly have together? Yeah, that, that one's easy. That one's easy. Just okay. But <laughs> okay. So the business they had together was catering. It was catering, <laughs> but uh, the name. <laughs> okay. I don't, I don't recall whether they gave it a name or not. Um, it was, but I mean, I, I, I'm sure it was catering. I, I just don't know if I got the right answer right there. Uh-huh. And can you remember what event they catered? Yes, it was. Okay. <laughs> was it a funeral? I think so. Yes. Well, well okay. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think it was a funeral. Uh huh. Okay. And oh yeah, because uh, the, right? the widow, the widow didn't want to pay up, so you, that, that's a thing. Like, yeah, and she was singing. Wanna... She was like, "I'm so sad," and she was <laughs> then she was singing. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, uh, Cena, nice to meet you. It's sometimes with these names on the on the on the Instagram, it's hard to figure out who you're really talking to. Great, Cena, nice to meet you. Super. Right. It's a funeral, catering, and the van. What's the van? Hmm, I can't oh, the, the van, van, the bitchin' van, <laughs> actually. It was a van with, uh, was it a dragon? Dragon painted on its side with, uh, with like an Amazon with a sword whose, <laughs> whose bra actually lit this. up. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, it was the, the van, the bitchin', the, the bitchin' van, that's right. <laughs> the bitchin' van. Why don't I remember this? I'm going to take a note of the bitchin' van, too, because I, yeah. I want to see. I'm letting the sign down here. Not a, it's not a dragon. Okie dokie. Let's go. <laughs> that actually that actually reminded me of uh, of another one of my favorite skits. Uh, skit was it was actually that same when when Phoebe wanted to introduce the the you know the van to everybody. Uh, Chandler was like, okay, so we are about to cross the street with our eyes closed. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's just fantastic. But. Uh, <laughs> They, they didn't actually cross the street, but uh, I, I don't know. That, that was just one of those iconic moments that yeah. you know, <laughs> stayed with yeah. me. I love these moments. And, and, and it's so funny. You can watch a Friends episode and you can meet, literally be each character. You know, you remember every single yeah. word. As you start watching, you know exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> it doesn't exactly. Get any, it doesn't get any worse. It doesn't get boring. It just gets better. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, so let's see. If anybody's answering our question, you've had a few minutes to think about it. One yeah. famous star was filming with Marcel. So remember, Marcel was, was filming. I can't remember with what film. Marcel was a monkey. Uh -huh, the Marcel was okay. a monkey. And he was, he was filming. And Rachel and Monica went to, to see the movie. Well, to see the filming of the movie. And they fell in oh. love with somebody. somebody. Somebody already had it. Exactly. Yeah, I was going to tell you. Think, uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, think of martial arts uh, from 90s, and then you, you might remember him. But uh -huh. no, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Allie has Allie. it. Jean-Claude Van Damme. Van Damme. Search me. I loved this episode. I love Jean-Claude Van Damme. <laughs> yeah. Was it the movie called, I mean, was the movie called Search Me? I don't know. Let's check. <laughs> Mm, Search me. Movie Marcel was in in Friends. Hmm. Ah, your Googling skills are <laughs> are refined. Ah, uh, Marcel from Friends in an outbreak. What season? Of, yeah, okay, I can't find it quick enough. So we're gonna just come back to it. Sir, good morning. Wow, Hello. good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Super. Exactly. All right. Friends, we're 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 talking across time zones which is fun okay exactly. so 
So I love these questions because they're details. Let's see. Can we remember? What, what hangs, hangs on, on Monica's, Monica's purple. purple door? All right. Okay. More, more than just hanging from it, I believe it's outlining the peep hole. <laughs> mm -hmm. it is, is, uh, it's, it's very important part of, of all the friends, I think. It's yeah, exactly. I used to I used to get the the seasons on DVD when, <laughs> when they came out because uh, there wasn't any Netflix or anything like that. And uh, actually, the 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 cover of uh, of DVDs is actually this very emblematic icon of the series, which is the the frame, right? <laughs> the people yes, frame. Yes, it's a frame. Well done, fantastic. <laughs> a photo frame, exactly, Ali. You got it. It's a yellow frame. It's actually beautiful. Um, it looks great on the purple door. Well done. Ali B, you, so if you had to asked go me about and... the color of the door. I might have gotten that wrong. Oh, <laughs> I didn't remember it was purple. Yeah. I didn't remember it was purple. <laughs> Ali B, I think you really need to go and like, like seriously do this quiz. Stuff. Like you are excellent at this quiz. <laughs> You should, yeah. you should make a quiz and, and we'll all get involved and do some exactly. quiz. quiz. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. This guy's a, guy's a legend. Okay. So let's see. Next question. We're, we're okay. nearly running out of time, but let's, yeah, that's right. let's try maybe get two more questions in. So this is also about a famous person. Let's go. All right. Which famous star appeared on Friends and stole Chandler's clothes to get revenge? Okay, hmm. but we're talking because I believe she wasn't playing her herself. You know that was that was Miss Julia, but uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, she had another name over there, and that's that's what I'm trying to remember. I can All only right? remember Julia Roberts. You're, you're right, uh, Mina. We well done. Um, I can remember her nickname, but the nickname that was given to her, the reason why she wanted to get revenge, <laughs> was something like. Susie Underpants, I think. Or... Exactly, Susie <laughs> Underpants. Exactly, that's what I wanted to remember. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. Like okay. <laughs> Susie Underpants. There we Susie go. Susie Underpants. That was a great one because she got um, uh, Chandler to to wear her underpants <laughs> and then stole <laughs> yeah. his clothes. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. So let's go for one more question. Let's do um, that. I want to see if I can get one that's a little bit. Mm, okay, let's try to do two. What does Chandler do for a living? Ooh. <laughs> statistical, statistical analysis and reconfiguration. Wow, let me see what the answer I have here. <laughs> um, do, I, I mean, because he had different, different jobs. You know, like at the end, he was in uh, advertising uh -huh. at the end of a show. But it was... I think it was statistical analysis and reconfiguration. Oh, yeah, I actually have a blank page here, but it, it was it was on the lines of IT management, statistics, something like this, definitely. And it was even in a, it was even in a, a friend's episode that I just watched yesterday, and now I've gone blank. You know what? Actually, I, I believe that's that's what got them uh, Monica's apartment when they asked. So, what is what, what is uh, Chandler Bing's job? Chandler's job, job. Exactly. They, they can. Because they were gonna say transporting, uh, transporting. I, I don't, I don't remember the exactly. <laughs> they they went with that one. It was actually who who was it? It was Rachel actually, <laughs> who who was, a said transponder. that. Yeah, exactly, a transponder or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And of course, that was that was uh, wrong. It was indeed. It was indeed. Great answer. Let's go. Last question for the win. Let's do that. Let's. Oh, all right. What's the name of Phoebe's alter ego? Now, not the name that she briefly changed in the older episodes. This would be in a newer episode. She had an alter ego. Oh, Consuela Banana Hammock. That would have been good. But the oh. alter ego. The alter ego. Um, by the way, that was Princess Consuela Banana Princess Hammock. Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. But the, the, the alter ego, the one that uh, was actually... Ursula playing in an adult video, was it? Maybe. No, but it was an alter ego. You mean, because cause there was an episode in which everybody had different lives, but that's, that's not an alter ego, was it? She, she uses this name um, like, when she's, um, like when she meets people, when she's in a situation. Oh, where... I got it. 
Where she Miss doesn't want to give her real name. <laughs> Miss yes. of course. Exactly. Yeah, it was. Hold on, but it's it's something phalange. Mm -hmm. it it's not Phoebe Phalange. R. Regina. <laughs> yes. Regina Phalange. Regina yeah. Phalange. Fantastic. That's right. Okie dokie. So first, let me Great. do this. To the end. To the end, of course. Well done, Greg. Super. <laughs> wow. I mean, it, it's been super. Uh, you know, it was, everything's been great about this. The format, the the trouble you went through, you know, to create the awesome graphics, and oh, uh, I'm glad I you believe. Liked it. <laughs> I mean, it was just fantastic, everything about it. Thank you very much. It's been an honor My being pleasure. here talking to you. My pleasure. And a real honor to have you. I'm such a big fan of yours. Anybody, oh, thank you. Anybody that's my, from my page here that hasn't already gone and followed Frank, you're losing your mind if you don't. Go there. Go there. He's and amazing. I say the same. <laughs> and I say the same, everybody. You know, guys, uh, you haven't yet uh, visited her page. Give her a follow. Give her a visit. You'll, you're, you're not going to regret it, of course. So maybe we're going to have a round two, maybe in the future. What do you we think? We should, actually. Yes. 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 I'm so down for it. Yes, of Great. course. Great. Thank you so much, Frank. Have a fantastic evening, night, week, and I look forward to our next class together. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, everybody. Thank you <laughs> bye so bye. much. Thank you, everybody, for getting involved. Muito obrigado para todo mundo que estava aqui do Brasil, da minha página. And thank you to everybody else that has come. It's been a pleasure to study with you guys. Goodbye. Good night. Oh, thanks so much, guys. Take care. Good night. <laughs>